Hey guys, Team Pokemon here. Today's video we're shiny hunting Pokemon types in Pokemon Go. And for every typing that we find, we save a shiny transfer. Yes, at the end of today's video, if we are missing any shiny typings, we're gonna transfer some shinies. Now, the number one goal for this video is find some dual types, because if you find the dual type, it counts for dual typing. So, I mean, that'd be absolutely ideal, like this Pidup here that isn't shiny, but we'll see what shinies we can get today. We have ourselves two days to go in and do it though, today and tomorrow, and we'll see what decides to go ahead and show up, because truthfully, I would like to find some shinies and some good ones, and maybe even a shiny shadow, because I really, really want shiny shadow Carvana or shiny shadow Lily, but we have a leap spotlight hour today and a bunch of other stuff going down, so hopefully we do get some shinies today and then hopefully as well tomorrow. Now, we're also trying to keep the shiny streak of 2024 alive, and did that put up not catch? Okay, I did. I thought it was like, I was a little bit confused, but yeah, I was gonna say, we are trying to keep the shiny streak of 2024 alive as that is my number one goal, because I mean, we, we've caught a shiny every single day this year, I'm not losing that now, we're in August, you know, like we're already getting so far, but this video is coming out the day before the brand new Scuba Pika event, so I cannot wait for that. That Scuba Pikachu is maybe the best costume Pokemon we've ever had in Pokemon Go. You guys let me know. We also have a spare hatch and egg task and 12 12 kegs. We're, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're hopefully going to hatch those eggs. I mean, we got 12 kilometers that we got to walk for them because uh, I put up a normal incubators. But we'll get there in about a year. Nah, not really. We'll probably get there in a couple hours. But we got ourselves a polywag that isn't shiny. On to the next clip. And we got ourselves a little cluster here with a Gumi, which is a rare typing, the dragon typing. That's going to be a difficult difficult one to get today, honestly. It doesn't spawn too often. And some of the ones that spawn, like Fridgebacks, can't be shiny. So it's a little bit of a difficult one. But we got ourselves a nice, a nice little trip planned now. We're going to go over to a big college campus in the local area and see how the spawns are over there, see what we can do grind-wise. And I haven't really fully walked grinded there yet. So we're going to go in and test it out, see what happens, see what it goes on. And let's head on. We're going to hop on the train right now and see if we, you know, if we can catch some spawns on there. If we do, I guess I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you when we get there. There. Alrighty now, two things. One, we're actually getting on the bus instead because it's actually a lot faster, I just realized. And then we also got ourselves a Sierra here. And I told you guys I really want that shiny Shadow Carvana. So if we could get that right now, that would be absolutely amazing. What a way to start this video. Or just not get it, you know, 217 though. It, it isn't horrible, but probably not pure viable. Now we officially made our way onto the campus and we got ourselves a decent amount of spawns here right as we walked in and we did get ourselves a shiny on the bus. We got ourselves a shiny Venonat, which is awesome because it's a dual typing Pokemon and I mean, a pretty great looking shot. I mean, look at the blue on it, right? It also keeps the shiny streak of 2024 very much alive. And we're going to go ahead and see, and we're going to go ahead and see what we can get here. But we got ourselves a Paris, and we got ourselves a Bell Sprout. 22 on a shine. No, okay. We also got a Numel that just spawned over there. Not shiny, but it could be Ditto. I'll let you guys know if it's a shiny Ditto. And here goes another little cluster. We got ourselves a Jigglypuff, a Poliwag, and some other stuff. Well, let's just see if it goes ahead and shines. At least we got one shiny so far, and the spawns have been decent through, throughout so far, at least from what I've been walking through. We're about like 15 minutes into the walk just looking around seeing what is spawning and how the spawns are in certain areas but we got ourselves a Bidoof and a few other spawns that we're gonna see just to see if they turn out to be shiny because we would love to get as many typings off the board on day one because then it gets a little bit more difficult as we get towards day two because day two then just scrambling you're trying to find what you can you know what i mean so hopefully we can pick up a few more and we'll see what happens and here's another shiny fun surprise we got ourselves a shiny fletchling which i haven't seen one of these in a little bit and it's pretty good in pvp as talon flame so i'm never mad at seeing it and if we could maybe somehow get a shundo one we don't talk about that throw those throws but if you could get a shundo one that would be absolutely amazing so let's see if this weather boosted one brings us a shundo that obviously be great like i just said but we got our so, not too good on IVs. And this is also one that I always confuse with the fire typing. I always think that Fletchling's a fire type, but no, it's just normal flying. We'll add it to the typings, of course, but we actually got ourselves a nice little cluster that I haven't checked all of it with. I've checked some of it, but not all of it with, so I might as well check the rest with you guys. But we're actually gonna head back into town. I think this place is pretty good. It's not horrible in terms of the spawns. Certain areas though, it's kind of weird with the walkability. So I'm kind of just like, you know, testing out different spots in Orlando. Let me know if you guys want to see more big cluster checks. I haven't been doing like some of them. We had like a couple big clusters that I could have checked with you guys. You guys let me know if you guys want to still see those. Like sometimes some people ask, you know, say in the comments they don't want to see the full clusters that they just want to see, you know, certain stuff. So I don't know. You guys let me know. Do you guys prefer like the 15 to 20 minute videos, maybe the 12 to 15? You guys let me know in the comments down below just to see what you guys think but we got ourselves a saw dude right here let's see if that is a shiny saw dude. nah and here goes our 12 12 kegs and let's see if we got ourselves a shiny sand down here that's my number one goal from these because i've been on to sand since march haven't found the shiny 
at all. I'm always hatching 12 kegs whenever I get them and no luck so far, but maybe this is the one that changes our fortunes with it because we got the hundo yesterday finally. So maybe that means the shinies en route on its way. I don't know. Could be, could be not, you know, I don't know. We're going to have to see with these eggs. We got a dino into another dino. Okay. Following that is going to be a pan champ. Okay. We got, I think like three more eggs. Let's just see if one of them is lucky. We see a couple salandits in this batch. Maybe we'll get a hundo, one of those. It may be a hundo female. I don't know. That'd be really, really rare, but we got another dino. Okay. I'm not even seeing one sand out in this batch. Maybe not so good, but let's go quickly through them. Actually a 98 dino. We'll actually take those. But besides that, the IVs aren't too amazing. We got two quick test let's just check them we got one event task which is a shield on set 371 actually not do that that not that bad either and a glory and armaka that isn't shiny i just want one shot in the spotlight right that's what we got to do that's what we got to do uh hopefully i'll be able to play spotlight now. oh shiny leap no way hey let's go i got some glare from the sun and boom he said hey how are you and we got a shiny little leap right and a run no <laughs> There we go. Shadow the Leap is here. 23 minutes in, and bam. Not a Shundo, but it's Pete. Tony, do you have. Oh, Shadow the Leap, let's go. Let's go. Double shoddy in this spotlight hour. 1001 CP. It's kind of up there. Kind of up there, so we'll see if it's any good, but nice. Another shiny little leap. Hey, I said it's a great looking shiny. It decided to pop up not once, but twice. 11 minutes left. Bam. We love it. And I also need Stardust because these are all boosted. Yes, I agree. Also, that one. <laughs> Pain. I'm going both ways. I don't know. They said it was more that way, but I didn't see it. I'm going to try again. I mean, you guys saw me. I caught every single one. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we hatched a shiny. When? Wait, right now? <laughs> nice. Well, we hatched a shiny Togepi. Somebody hatched a shiny Togepi literally before, right? Why was it this the one before that would have been XXL shiny? Ah! All right, let's name this out. But yeah, I hope you guys all had a good day. If you guys played Spotlight, right, I hope you guys got the shiny. Um, and oh, shiny clip roll, nice. Alrighty, bam, we got a little goodbye shiny for from Wolverine here. Shiny clamp roll, we'll take it. Marissa got one of these today. Twins, Marissa, we always twin on a shiny. It's just, just how it works, always. But we love a clamp roll. It's a good purple shiny, and let's see if it's got any good IVs on it. Come on, bop. No, uh, not very good. Have Mewtwo. Oh, shiny Swirlix. What, dude? What is going on today? Let's go. The shiny look is absolutely popping off today. Let's get some W's in the chat for that. My gosh, that's shiny number five of the stream. We got a shiny Swirlix. What is going on? Let's go. All right, let's see if this was any good on IVs, but I love the, uh, you know, the cookie dough cotton candy. It's a weird mix, but you know, you do you. And it's now the next day, and I can't lie, I realized I didn't talk about the haul from yesterday so let's update ourselves on where we're sitting at in terms of typings because stream went really well you guys saw probably saw in the stream highlights but we got ourselves the bug poison typing the normal flying we got ourselves rock and grass we got fairy and we got ourselves water now we had a duplicate typing with fairy right here then a duplicate typing with two little leaps during spotlight hour but a great haul of seven shinies on day one and eight typings which isn't too bad but we're 10 typings away and one of those typings is a pretty hard typing to get, dragon typing, but we also have the ghost typing, the dark typing, some tough typings, but we do have thunderous for, you know, the electric typing, but hopefully we can pick up some stuff. We gotta get the steel typing. I mean, honestly, some really hard typings to find. So let's get out. I'm gonna drop some Dongming's Necrozma power up after my daily incense. So let's go out, get grinding and all that kind of stuff. And now it's time for day two's daily incense. And let's see what we get on today's daily. Glorian Bird would always obviously be nice, but maybe we get ourselves a shiny on the daily that's happened a couple times over the last few weeks but we get ourselves a starly that is a shiny let me know in the comments down below why was your most recent daily instance did you guys get a galarian bird let me know in the comments down below but we got ourselves a starly that obviously is it shiny? But after this daily incense finishes, I do plan on using some Dawn Wings Necrozma daily adventure incenses or uh, effects, sorry, adventure effects. You know what I mean? I plan on using that mainly because I need some typings on there. Like Gligar is a boosted shiny, ground type. You got dark type with Galoran Zigzagoon, and you have yourself a Lola Marowak with the. Uh, do we even have fire? We don't. Oh, we don't even have fire. We got a Fletchling, but it's not a fire type. So I mean, fire ghost would be actually ideal with a Lola Marowak as well. So we'll see what happens with that. 
that and a Spiro after Starly. We got a bird incense, maybe a Galarian bird's coming. Now we're already tapped into it, but we got one 12 keg. Will it be a shiny? No, it would have been awesome if it was a shiny Sandow. And most Pokemon in these eggs are the dark type and, and you know, or rock and ground like Lobertar right there. But but it's it's all good, it wasn't shiny. Okay, so first things first, we got a Makuhita on the incense that isn't shiny, but I completely messed up. I actually dropped the normal incense when I did say multiple times that I was gonna drop the Dawn Wings power up, but it's okay. We have plenty of time to do that later. We could always do it at home tonight as well, because I'm just gonna give myself until midnight to find these shinies, but definitely a mistake that I, I did not plan on making there so my bad on that one but we got a venonat and we got ourselves a i think that's a cutie fly hiding under the pokestop let's just see if that turns out to be shiny real quick bam nah now we took out a weirdier raid that is going to be a non-shiny. It would have been nice for the psychic typing, but we got ourselves another task here that is either an Archon or it was going to be a Tortuga, which would have been real nice, but hey, unfortunately, they didn't want to shine. We got a Sunny Cast form as well as a Cloncher that is a shiny. Still need one more of those for the line, but a throw that isn't throwing me a shiny. Would have been nice for the fighting typing. That's one that I haven't picked up as well. Maybe a Sahara will come along the line and get me a shiny. Who knows? But we got ourselves... Oh, that's a Palmy. Awkward. Thought that was something else. And now it's time for a big cluster here, but it's time for a jump cut cluster. We're gonna jump in between all these and see if one of them shines. Incense Venonets. Die. No. No. Shiny. Boom. Boosted. Oh, boosted. Shiny right there. Lickitung. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and take it. I mean, Lickitung always likes to show up in events, out of events, whenever, there, there anywhere but we got another one we'll take it we throw an ultra ball we catch it on the first ball it doesn't get the runaway and our shiny streak of 2024 stays alive and that's actually kind of decent ivs but i do have a great league rank one one that is shiny so the back to back now let's get to the rest Cardavana, nana -na. c dot barnacle boy or ghastly christmas barnacle boy shiny pasta spaghetti shroomy no young goose spritzy no spiro no, no. Wimpod. No red pod. Okay, that's the cluster. See you guys next clip. Yeah, it's just a big cloud that's like... Oh, shiny better down the incense. Tony, God, stop going in AR mode on incense, but let's go. 41 CP. We looked at the death cloud that way, and we said, shiny's this way, so... Yeah, safety. Uh, but we got ourselves a 41 CP. Shiny better net that's about to be. Bam. Uh, those are IBs. Those are IBs. Can't say they're good ones, but they're IVs. I realized I pointed across the street uh, to see if, like, if I was if I had to cross or not. Oh, shiny Paris! What? Okay. Funny enough, this is actually like almost the same exact spot we got a shiny Paris a few days ago or like a week ago. But shiny Paris, hi, how are you? Looks great. And ten. I did it. Also, shiny Paris. Let's see it. Bam. Let's see these IVs. Bop. Almost the same as our first shiny. I'm actually curious now. To see how these IVs uh, fared. Yeah, very similar to the first one. They're very similar IVs. All right, this one's 1900. This one's actually kind of decent. And it is shiny. Oh, it is shiny. <laughs> nice. 1900. It's 11 off the hundo. And it's a shiny Thunderous. Nice. We'll take it. We'll take it. The only one we're probably going to get shiny this raid hour. And it's actually a good IV one. I may or may not have a 15, 14, 15 one. But we don't have to talk about that right now. We just talk about the one that's on screen. And look at these IVs. Bam! Ooh, 15, 13, 15. Nice. So I have a 15, 13, 15, and a 15, 14, 15. Also, shiny. Oh, shiny on the last raid. Let's go. There's one more raid. It, it goes with the propel. Behind 1870. Us. Oh, yeah, there is one more raid. Second to last raid, shiny. Yeah, Double right. shiny in the, spot, in the raid hour? You love that. It's got 20 minutes left on it. Oh, okay. We have time then. Let's go. Hey, we love that. Let's see if it's got good IVs. Bada bing, bada boom. Play the dookie sound. Wait, what? <laughs> Let's, we'll take that. Nope, two, two kegs. Oh, shiny got theta. What? Okay. Casual, double two keg, full odd shiny got theta. 524. Not too bad either. Okay, 13, 15, 10. What was that? That's why you quick catch the raids. <laughs> okay. And now we got ourselves a lucky trade. After the stream and everything, we got ourselves a pretty awesome lucky trade with my mom. We got ourselves a Pokia lucky trade. Now, she's nice enough to be giving me a Pokia with the LA background, which is just absolutely amazing. I'm unfortunately not giving one back, but let's see if ours goes Shundo 2367. 
Not 2367, but 2338 is all right, but it's got the LA background and the lucky background. It just looks absolutely amazing. So absolutely take it. But 14, what is that? 14, 12, 14, not horrible, but not the best. And now it's time to wrap up today's video and I can't lie to you guys. I fell asleep, so it's the next day, but we didn't get any shinies on the Dawnwings power-up, but we did have some awesome stuff happen today, and, and we only got 10 typings, so there's going to be 8 shiny transfers. Big pain, but we did get ourselves a ton of typings on day 2, and by a ton, I mean, I mean 2. Typings. We got the electric typing and the psychic typing. Besides that, we had all duplicates with the grass and bug typing, the bug and poison, the normal, and the flying typing were all duplicates, but we did get some awesome shinies, including this really good IV, shiny thunderous, and a random shiny Gothita, which I just wasn't expecting at all. And if you want to go shiny age 0 to 2, we did get ourselves 16 shinies in this video. Just, oh wait, actually, sorry, take out that coughing. That, that's not there. Just ignore that. But we did get ourselves 16 shinies. Oh, wait. Actually, wait. <laughs> Hold on. There's three shinies that shouldn't be here. So we got 13 shinies in this video. Still not bad, though. I guess it's age 0 to 1, right? Age 0 to 2 would have put it a little bit too far. But 13 shinies in this video, not bad at all. Honestly, pretty satisfied with the haul. And we found some pretty cool ones at that. Two Lilips, two Venonats, and two Thunderous. Just a couple doubles, which you love to see. But... There is some shinies that have to bite the dust, so let's go over and do that. And here we are. We got eight Calm Day shinies and two non Calm Day shinies. Let's go through them. Ooh, this one's gonna hurt. Golet. Ah. And Hisui and Growlithe have a safe flight on Brave Bird Airlines. Dynamo number one. Dynamo number two. Bon voyage, Tynamo. Tyna not in my account anymore. Tyna, why did I have to do this? And I'm now realizing I only actually have to do eight shiny transfers. I put 10 in here, so this is actually the last one. So you two, you're safe. C congratulations, you survived. Okay, well, that is where we're gonna wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Sorry about the shiny transfers. I know it hurt some people watching the shiny transfers, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you wanna see more challenges just like this, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, peace.